He is David Cronenberg. And his last film, Naked Lunch, was an acknowledged box office flop, and yet he's already busy on his next project. In the first of a two-part uh, feature, Global's Rob Davidson thought this would be a good time to catch up with Canada's grossest national product. It's been a 26-year journey for David Cronenberg. While Naked Lunch has been hailed critically as the most perfectly realized filmic vision in years, this is how it all started. 1966, and as university buddy Norman Snyder remembers, there was always a veneer of confidence. And he used to tell me back then, you know, uh, Norman, I'm a genius, and I say, sure, David, we're all geniuses, but in his case, it happened to be true. Shivers, his first feature, was originally entitled Orgy of the Blood Parasites, a title all the government funding bodies recoiled from quicker than audiences when it would finally appear on screen. It took three years for me to convince Cinepix that I should direct my first film. Uh, they wanted the script. In fact, Jonathan Demme, who's just won an Oscar for Silence of the Lambs, was approached by them to direct my screenplay, at which point when I found that out, having met him for the first time, I went crazy because I said, no, there's no way anybody else is directing the script. And when you need money for a film, and you're just 24, well, you go to Hollywood. I think he had this idea of selling a, a script idea to Roger Corman. And uh, he wanted some company, so do you want to you go? So I said, sure. And we got some kind of cheap fare and stayed with uh, some relative of his, some cousin, some, some relative of his parents, I believe. And um, rented some kind, kind of broken down car. And, and made the rounds. What I wanted to do was to go to a place where it was a completely normal, understood thing to want to make this movie, where it was just business as usual, and the only questions were how much, who would direct, uh, who would produce. It was the, the existence of that project was not an issue. Attaboy. Shivers cost $180,000 to make and made back some $5 million. Cronenberg's next film was another exploration of body corruption, starring American porn star Marilyn Chambers, called Rabid. Like Shivers, Rabid made back approximately $7 million on the $350,000 invested. David Cronenberg was now Canada's most successful horror director. I think uh, it's good to be naive. So I guess when I started to make films, it was understood, uh, I guess unconsciously anyway, that it wasn't going to be easy. And although there were very dark times and difficult times, I, I think I really did accept it as part of the struggle, you know. And there were only a couple of moments when I thought, my God, it might never happen. I might never really get the access I need to the filmmaking machinery or the, the filmmaking financing or whatever it takes. Make them stop. 1979 would see the brood on the screen, another dark and slithery, hard-to-sit-through horror film. They're doing what you want them to do. In Canada, the idea of doing a horror film was considered an aberration. I mean, this was this is certainly not something you do at the National Film Board something that was fantastic and perverse and dark uh, was perhaps not Canadian or they just didn't know what to do with it. But he would find out David Cronenberg was about to make his biggest movie hit yet. Rob Davidson, Global News, Toronto. So how's the old craft dinner going down, folks? All right, good. Part two of the Cronenberg saga will be seen tomorrow night. That's it for our entertainment report.